Hi everybody, Real Jill Jenny back. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. So, um, I wanted to actually redo one of the videos that I did before about Tejo insulin. Um, there was a few comments. I couldn't see the injection, this and that. So I'm happy to try to make sure I fit everything in the video um, that I was commented about. So the first thing is we have Tejo which is a long acting insulin. This will help continue to keep your blood sugar stable throughout the um, day. I take 40 units a day in the morning when I wake up. And that seems to work best for me. That was suggested by my doctor. Um, I do see an endocrinologist about every three months or so. And let's talk about the injection. All right, so some people are nervous or this is new to them completely understand there was days I cried I didn't want to inject myself it hurts all this but we have to do it to survive so we're doing it so today you just take off the cap you're gonna get a pen like this you have to keep it cold in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it don't take it out um, until you're ready like 30 minutes wait 30 minutes leave it out to the room temperature because you don't want to inject cold insulin really either so once you take it out, it's good for, um, you'll have to read the recommended amount of time. I think it's 32 days mostly on most insulins and, or 28 days and then it goes bad. So, and you don't want to get it in heat, you know, read everything that's on your insulin pen, read all the things you're supposed to do with your insulin. So first thing is to remove the cap and the insulin is basically preloaded in a pen uh, this is the plunger and it pushes it up and out. Now these you do have to purchase separately um, pen needles, needle tips, excuse me. I buy the BD Nano second generation. And I'll put a link for everything in the subscription, in the, sorry, description. And then it looks like this. So this gets attached to here. This is the pen needle tip. This is the actual needle for it. So you take off the little paper, you know, get that ready. And then I put simply push this on. You push a little bit, you twist it, twist it till it's tightened. Okay, and then I save this. I pop that off, save it for later. Now the green one I'll save, keep it on there until I'm absolutely ready to inject. So first thing you need to do though is alcohol swabbies do we do this every time probably not i don't think my belly gets that dirty so long acting insulin as i've been told by my doctor is recommended to be put in your stomach only and uh so each day i pick a new spot and i work my way from one side of my belly boom 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 one day two days three days four days all the way back to one side of my belly and then i work my way back and this is what was recommended to me from my doctor now, if you've been told something different, absolutely, that's what you do. So, first thing you wanna do is get your al alcohol prep pad. These are very cheap, almost any store you go to, online, Amazon, $2 for like 100. That's great, you use these all the time for everything. Um, so, first thing you wanna do is clean the area. Sorry, I will try to stand back far enough. So, I'm gonna choose a good meaty spot on my belly I'm gonna squeeze it and clean it. And then I'm going to remove the green cap. First thing you wanna do is make sure you prime the cap. So I turn it to one unit. I turn it from zero to one. And then I push some out. I hope you can see it. See, I got a drip. That's good, that means it's working. So I go to my 40. I go to 40, four zero, and it looks like this, and the plunger's gonna push it out. So there's the needle, very carefully back to my spot, <clears throat> and then I push the needle in gently. Gently, this one really doesn't hurt. And then you start to push on the plunger. That injects the insulin. I count to 10, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I release, 
and I let go. And that's it. No major scarring, no bleeding. And I'll tell you why. I chose a very small needle. Well, my doctor. Um, I was getting a lot of bruising. And it just happens sometimes. It's important to squeeze. And so then I just re I put the green cap back on, the plastic cap, and I twist it back off all together. So the needle's back in here. And then you go ahead and you put it in your sharps container, which is for all your medical supplies. And then I just put the top back on. It's very important to keep this clean. I forgot one step. So normally, I'm sorry, before you put the needle on, you would go ahead and wipe this off just to make sure it's clean. Now, if you don't, obviously, hopefully, I won't get any kind of infection. I do this a lot, sorry. Um, and I've never had an issue, so. Also, I wanted to talk about your other insulins you might take. I take a, it's not a long acting, it's a regular acting, meaning uh, it works within two hours. So this is Novalin R, and it comes in a glass vial like this. And uh, so I'm gonna show you how to inject Novalin R. Now I'm about to eat, so for me, short acting or fast acting insulin so when you eat your that you take you may take if you're type one or even some type twos when you eat i personally cannot take because my sugar would drop when i eat my insulin has a tendency to kick in real fast when i eat and if i take the insulin and then my personal working insulin because i'm type two kicks in i drop and then it takes me about two hours to get back up so I have to take a longer acting one. So I can take it and then I have two hours basically to eat. And uh, this is what just what works for me. If you have any questions about that, message me, absolutely. Um, so this is Novalin R. Now the size of the needles that I use for the Tejo is, um, it's 0.23 millimeters and a times four millimeters. So it's a four millimeter pen needle and it's super tiny. So that's why it doesn't hurt. I really don't feel it. That was suggested by my doctor. Now, I don't know why, but we have an eight millimeter. Let me show you. The needle is a little bit longer. It's still pretty thin, you know. So it hurts a little bit more than the other one. So, okay, so you have your vial insulin. Um, say you have one like this. Some of them are preloaded. I know there's all kinds of great stuff out there that you put them in your pump, um, all that. But this is just to show you how to inject Novalin R. So, or how I inject Novalin R. <laughs> so I take five units before I eat. So first thing you wanna do is, and the same thing like to J-O, take it out, wait 30 minutes out of the refrigerator if you have it just refrigerated. Now this is good for, I've been told 40 days. My insurance actually doesn't cover it for every 40 days so um don't quote me on that but the pamphlet i read and the, the research i did online says about 40 days and it does still work for me don't quote me on that again it may be different for you or your doctor um or the different kind so basically i take my vial you're gonna flip it upside down try not to drop it you drop it sometimes they break on the hard surfaces um, recently one of my cats knocked over my vial and I had to get it replaced and wait for the insurance so that wasn't fun all right so you take your syringe and you take your vial now I'm gonna get another alcohol swab and I'm gonna show you this actually injection into my arm today so I'm gonna pick a spot that's pretty chunky back there if you have um, you know fat like me that's good if you're really skinny you have to find that little bit of little bit of thickness that you can get so I'm letting that dry and I feel where it is because it's cold in case anybody's like how do you remember where it's cold the air is touching it I know where to inject so again remove the orange or whatever color guard that you have a plastic piece save that don't throw it away yet and with syringes, you have to actually pull down the amount, 
that you're going to put in. So I'm going to inject five units of Novalin R. I put my plunger down to five. And then, then you insert it into the rubber part. So I'm going to clean it like I was supposed to do in the last video. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and push the needle in. Then I'm going to push the plunger and I like to hold it like this the two finger method. <laughs> um, I push it up, push all the air bubbles up. You want to clear out all the air. Okay. And then you want to drag down. I'm using my thumb to pull down to five, back to five. And then I pull it out. So I have five units in here. And then we're going to go back to my arm. Usually I would just rest it or, you know, I know it was right around here because I still feel the cold. And I'm gonna slowly take my time when I inject in my arm. I don't just go jab. I can't believe some people do that. But I just go slowly. I find I feel the needle. Do you recommend using um, a mirror? Once I feel it touch my skin, I'm gonna slowly push it in. No pain today, thank goodness. See, I'm pushing it, and then I'm gonna push my plunger using my pointer finger. And I pushed it in and I'm pulling it out. No rush. Simple for me. Um, I don't rush it. Some people that might like maybe feel better. Absolutely. Go ahead. Whatever you're comfortable with. That's just me. So I chose to inject in my arm because I'm about to eat and I already did my belly today. So, you know, with regular acting, not the long acting, you, I've only been told you can put into your stomach. With the regular acting, um, I inject in my thighs and the back of my arms also as well as my stomach so that kind of helps with the bruising or the pinching because sometimes you get a little pinch you know it's a needle going into your skin um i can't say that it's never completely hurt sometimes you really don't feel it but other than that to me it hurts so <laughs> but it's not a big deal now that i've been doing it for seven years so uh, when i do my thigh i would do the same thing now i did not have to pinch my arm because I know my arm doesn't hurt me so if you wanted to pinch you would have it would be very hard to pinch and inject but it could be done um, maybe with some practice or if you have somebody that can go ahead and um, do that for you so um, that's great I love when people want to do my injections for me I'm like yes I don't have to do it so um, that is how we inject to Jo. That's how you would inject Novolin R, regular acting insulin in a vial. And if anybody has any questions, please comment below. Let me know how this video was, if it was better than the last Tejo video, if I explained everything properly. Um, again, alcohol, alcohol, swabby everything. And um, get ready for some more videos coming in because I'm back on track. So thanks everybody for watching. You have a great day. Real Deal Diabetic Dental.